So welcome to Badass Fans Vlog Live. We are here with Light FM today. Thank you guys for being here. Um, so a few questions to start off, just about you guys in general. So when and why did each of you start playing music? You wanna go first? <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know why, it just sort of happened. And I was like 13 and yeah, it's been a long time. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I don't know, it just happened and I stuck with it the whole time. So. Always bass? No, I started with guitar. Okay. And mostly, well, I mostly played guitar until I met Josiah. Oh, really? I, yeah. Oh, interesting. More bass. Huh. So. Um, I started in third grade. I, I had an iron-on t-shirt that said, I sold my soul for rock and roll. And <laughs> it came true, so. <laughs> That's awesome. But, um, I started um, on saxophone, and um, I, I wasn't very good at that. And uh, then I switched to drums, and I played in punk and hardcore bands in high school and college. And then, um, and then I started playing guitar because I hated all the bands I was playing drums for. <laughs> <laughs> music was not my to my liking, yeah. so I was like, I gotta learn how to play a melodic instrument. So I started playing guitar. Wow. Yeah, and so t twenty something years later. Nice. How about you? Um, for me, it was interesting because I grew up. Uh, riding horses and nobody in my family plays an instrument and I had never played an instrument before and when I was 17 all of a sudden I became really fascinated with drumming mm -hmm. and basically just you know set up the drum lesson and went to my parents I'm like oh I really want to play drums and I already have a drum teacher and actually I already have a band too because like my high school friends needed a drummer so nice. it all kind of fell into place and I immediately started playing in a band and um, yeah and then I started pursuing it from there that's so. awesome very cool. So how did all of you guys meet? <laughs> <laughs> all right. There's, Light FM has been a band since 1999. So I think that's 15 years or something like that. And, um, you know, definitely gone through uh, a revolving cast of lineups. Yeah. But um, Nikki here has been the longest. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, basically, I moved here from Chicago in 2005. And um, ever since then, I've found people to play in the band, you know? Yeah. Well, I guess I'm, I've been the only consistent thing in the band. Gotcha. Um, <laughs> but, um, uh, yeah, I I guess Nikki joined the band in what year? Is it it must have been like five years ago. Five years ago, whoa. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, uh, we, your best friend, Nicole Fiorentino, who played in Brooks Saw and Smashing Pumpkins, and she uh, quit our band and joined the Smashing Pumpkins, and <laughs> we inherited Nikki. <laughs> um, like it was like kind of a really cool. It was really easy transition because yeah. it was like we were all good friends, and I had worked with Nikki before, like mm -hmm. recording bands and stuff, and I recorded her old band, and mm -hmm. <laughs> so. Nice. And then um, we met Alexa. Um, our Actually, band. you you had a you were looking for a drummer and you had a Facebook post up. Right, and right I knew right. of you guys. And I'm like, oh yes, yes, I want to, <laughs> I want to audition, I want to try out. So that's basically how that happened. But yeah. it's been like, how long have I been? It's like one and a half years. Actually, almost two years. I think. Oh yeah, yeah. It's like wow. it's two years so. in June, I think. Awesome. Yeah. So sweet. Uh, and why the name Light FM? Ah, uh, really? I came up with the name because like it, it was like pretty much everything I hated in music. <laughs> <laughs> so, like it, and it was like easy listening Celine Dion like you know going to the dentist and I hated that shit so, so I thought it'd be funny if it was on the marquee because mm -hmm. it's kind of confusing like yeah. if, if somebody read like Light FM on the marquee and we're like is this show sponsored by Light FM or what you know? I guess it was meant to be uh Kind of funny, kind of a joke name, but yeah. it ended up sticking. So then this was a band also in Chicago then, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so now here. Yeah. Um, what are some challenges, do you think, being a band in Los Angeles and Chicago? Oh man, it's just so different. It's really different. Um, I feel like um, you know, a lot of people moved to LA to make it mm -hmm. to be like famous or whatever that means, you know? Yeah. So, um, but I feel like in Chicago, the music community, like there's some really amazing musicians and they're in your band because they really like your music. You know, like whereas here, I don't pay these guys, but <laughs> they're, they're members of the band. But I'm just saying like um, in LA, you meet a lot of people who are session players, you gotta pay them like yeah. to play the show. And, 
and they they might like your music, but you know it's more about um, being you know a, music as a career yeah. ra rather than like a passion, you know. Mm -hmm. But maybe that's a huge generalization, and I'm I'm eating my words. But <laughs> <laughs> that that's what I've noticed is it's it's definitely like it's hard to hold down a band, you know. Yeah, definitely. Ladies, anything else to add to that at all? I mean, I think as far as the passion makes sense, because I used to be a hired gun, so if you would have asked me a few years ago, I probably would have said, like, oh, yeah, you got to pay me yeah, yeah. for, the, you know, each gig. Yeah. And I actually got burned out doing that, because there's not a lot of passion behind it, and you don't put your heart in it, you know? Mm -hmm. You go and play the gig, and then you go home, and you have a paycheck. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I kind of, um, like, went into, like, marketing to make a living, and then now I just do the projects I really want to do. And I have a lot more fun doing it. It's a lot more Absolutely. rewarding. Are you guys ready for the wheel? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so whatever order you guys want to go in, whoever wants to go first, doesn't matter. So I'm just going to spin it, and then I just usually kind of stop it, and whatever it is, it is. So. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah, Nikki. <laughs> Ooh, favorite things to do not musically related. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> um... Hmm. I like to travel a lot, and I really like to go to Disneyland, actually. <laughs> nice. Yeah, that's what I like to do. <laughs> that is definitely not music related. No, that's, not at all. That's awesome. Yeah. All right. Josiah, are you ready? Are you going to go next? Are you going to go down the Oh, line? yeah, yeah. I'm ready. All right, here we go. Give me something good. Big money. <laughs> Big money. <laughs> no whammies. I feel like that's one thing you love about your bandmates. <laughs> oh. <Wow. laughs> um... Let's see. Um, I have a lot of things about you guys. That's oh, that's nice. Usually like Vance are like, I don't like anything about them. <laughs> I mean, look at these shoes, man. Like, <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, like Nikki's fashion. She, she is amazing. I feel like we're like brother and sister. We kind of like try to look, we kind of look similar a little bit. We usually dress the like, same. Sometimes people think we're brother and sister. <laughs> you know? yeah, so I, I love her like a sister. Aww, you know? Yeah. That's fun. <laughs> and Alexa, um, I, I love how she's so passionate about like horses and and drumming and um, what else? Marketing? Not really. <laughs> yeah, no, that's, that's, that's your job. Yeah. But yeah, and, like we're all buddies. Yeah. Yeah. That's a plus. <laughs> all right, Alexa, you ready? Uh, kind of. Kind of. <laughs> Favorite oh, sappy God, love song. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, let's see. I guess the one I really like is U2, With or Without You. Mm. That's Solid. Nice yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that's, that's a good choice. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. <laughs> All right. <laughs>